on August 24th, we'll call the uh, Architecture Review Board to order. Uh, Steve, if you wouldn't mind doing the official roll call. Sure. Joe Clark. Present. Marcus Savaglio. Present. Jerry Jones. Present. Richard Lindy. Richard Lindy is not here. Pam Langan. Present. Charlie Wig. And uh, Robert Heimroll said he would not be able to attend today. So we do have a quorum. Right. Thank you very much. Super. Um, and at this point, I would ask everyone to please stand, and we will fumble our way through the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I didn't hear dozens of delayed voices on that one. Yeah. All right, item 1.3. Looking to identify any potential conflicts of interest for the board members today. Hearing nothing, I will assume there are none and move on to item 2.1 approval of the minutes from July 27th. Make a motion. This to is the Jerry. Board. I'll make a motion. This is Jerry. I'll second. I think Mark has beat you to it. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, motion in a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, Steve, could you read through the roll call to get us to vote, please? Joel Clark? Aye. Marcus? Aye. Jerry? Aye. Pam? Aye. And Charlie is unanimous. Great. Thanks, everyone. Uh, it brings us to item 3.1, our one item for discussion this afternoon, the new building addition and exterior remodeling at the Right Way Club, 4627 South 12th Street. Uh, if the applicants could please come to the podium and give us a brief presentation on what you're proposing. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Herzog with ACE Building Service. Um, I can answer any questions or provide information about the project details itself. I'll defer any questions about the Right Way Club um, to the members that are here today. Um, and uh, I guess with that, um, the packet of information that was prepared and sent in, if you've had the opportunity to review, is for a conventional wood framed uh, building expansion to the east side of the existing building. Uh, in addition to that, the existing building itself will be renovated both on the interior and exterior of the existing structure. Um, we are proposing um, vinyl uh, siding. Uh, I have samples of the siding line and color here today, as well as some stone accents around uh, the building entrance. I mentioned before, it will be wood frame construction. We are gonna tie the proposed expansion in with the existing building so as to appear as one continuous structure that was originally designed to be that way. Um, the rest of the project will entail there is currently a uh, detached garage structure that's on the site that will be completely demolished and, and removed as well as an exterior deck. Uh, there will be some site work involved uh, with the expansion as well, namely bringing up the grade on the back side of the building to uh, match the existing finished floor elevation of the building. Additionally, some site work um, will be necessary for stormwater management that will be handled on the east side of the property as well. And there will be some exterior concrete uh, patio seating area that will be incorporated in design. The existing uh, building I mentioned before will be renovated inside and out. Specifically, the exterior of the building will receive new asphalt shingles that will match 
the new construction shingles will receive new siding uh, that will match the existing or uh, will match the siding on the proposed expansion as well. Um, again, such that both new and old sort of uh, fit together from an appearance standpoint. There will be some exterior accent lighting incorporated in the design. Uh, this is downlit LED lighting, so as not to flood out into the parking space or to uh, adjoining um, neighboring properties. And uh, as uh, Steve pulled up the, the images um, on the screen at this point, we plan on trimming out um, the, uh, the siding with white uh, accents, namely with soffit fascia, typical to what you've seen on light commercial or residential construction before. I do have samples if you'd like to see that. Um, and then uh, there are um, two entrance options that were included in the packet of materials. We're, we're asking for consideration on both options as it, it's coming down to a financial decision on which, which way to go. Um, the left side of the sheet in front of you shows about a 18 inch projection to uh, draw attention to the, the fact that that is the entrance to the building. The right hand side of the page has approximately a 10 foot overhang, um, which again uh, does the same, um, has the same effect, it's just a bit more pronounced and offers a little bit of shelter from elements to uh, guests as they enter the building. Exterior uh, doors and windows, um, new doors, entry, entry doors and overhead doors will be pre-finished steel um, with a wood grain appearance to them. And any new windows that are installed with the building will be selected to match the style and rough or approximate dimension of those that are existing. I think uh, that that provides a pretty good background of the uh, the construction itself. Would be happy to answer. Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, just a couple of follow-up questions from my end. The main entry doors, that pair in the renderings look as if they're uh, full light aluminum, uh, but wanted to verify that uh, that is the case. They're not a, a metal or fiberglass. Uh, or if so, are they still full light? Yes, that's correct. They are um, they are full light um, aluminum storefront entry doors. Okay. And then the the trims that you were talking about on the option D, there are some white corner trims just at the front of the building, and then it looks as if around the rest of the building they go to uh, match the siding color. Uh, whereas on option A. All of the corners appear to be the uh, color to match the siding. What is the, the thought process there? What is the intent? Um, good question, Joe. The, the intent of uh, that is similar to the fact that we have two uh, entrance options. The, uh, the group that we've been working with at the Right Way Club is still a little bit torn as to which version they like more. If they want the colored corners to match the siding, or if they want to uh, contrast and have a white appearance. So again, our hope was that to gain the approval um, this afternoon for either option. Okay. My, my only reservation with the option B approach is that those white corners seem just a little disjointed to me. Um, I do like nice clean white corner trims. Um, but to not have it consistent around the building uh, was a, a question mark from my end. The other thought was if you're trying to uh, differentiate that front elevation uh, and have that just be a little more dressed up with the white trim, perhaps carrying a white horizontal band along the facial line uh, above the garage door and the opening to the, uh, the covered uh, porch area would kind of tie all of that together. Uh, the corner trim can die into that instead of just stopping. Uh, and it might provide just a slightly cleaner look to that front elevation. 
sure, definitely. Um, definitely could take that um, uh, advice into consideration in the, into the design. I will state that there's uh, an error on that. The, uh, the rendering image, it should have, it should depict white corners around the entirety of the building, not just that, that uh, single face. Okay. So yeah, the intent there would be to do okay. either all white or all color matching. Great, thank you. Um, I think that was actually it for my list of questions. Anyone else, other questions or comments? I've got one. Uh, in the um, the notes from staff, they had talked about a, a dormer um, that was possibly missing. Could uh, that be explained a little bit more? We um, when we went through our oh sorry Steve no no go ahead no um, we when we we're going through our pre development meeting uh, we actually had two dormers on the building um, uh, they were positioned on the north and the south roof slope of the existing building. And um, it was suggested to possibly add one on the west uh, uh, roof um, surface of the existing building. We actually added one on the west surface of the proposed expansion for a total of three. And um, in following back up with uh, the committee at the right way club, um, their preference was to have the three dormers that are shown on the rendering that you see today. Um, the west elevation of the existing building is pretty also uh, uh, is all pretty um, well hidden by a couple of mature uh, deciduous trees, leafy trees as well. Thanks, Chris. Steve, anything else you'd want to add from the city's end to that point? No, I think I think it was more of a discussion point and whether or not something like that would fit in to just tie up the existing with the rest of it. So it was more of just a, a real uh, discussion and option. So that was just uh, probably the gist of that conversation. Okay, thank you. Um, just trying to envision that additional dormer to the west. I wonder if it would start to draw more attention to that west elevation, which since it's facing the street, um, does that then start to make it feel more like there might be an entrance there, that the door would be a, yes, you can come in here. I think it's pretty clear with the, the current proposition where the entry is. So I don't think that would be a big problem. Um, but since as Chris said, it's screened pretty well with trees, that additional west dormer I don't think to me would be something that I'd see as critical. Other thoughts or comments from anyone? Or additional questions? If not, I would certainly entertain a motion. I would I'd make a motion. Go for it. I move to approve as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? I would add, uh, am any concern with uh, the horizontal band that was discussed, if you want that included, or maybe left to the discretion of the owner? I would say it could be left to the discretion of the owner, and then if it needs to be approved just by, the, by Steve, um, that would be fine. Marcus, are you comfortable with that with your second as well? Good with me. So the motion as it stands is to approve as submitted uh, with the owner's option, whether the white horizontal band on the, the front entry elevation gets added or not, to then be reviewed by staff. Chris, does that make sense to you? It does, yes. Can I uh, can I make one comment on that? Um, what maybe what I what what I could get in the end too is before they pull building permits, maybe the applicant could select the specific option that they're going with out of the two, and then update the uh, drawings accordingly. Uh, 
I don't know I that there's with that amendment. Yeah, I don't know if there really needs to. Be, I don't know that there needs to be like a real condition other than that they bring back the final drawings back to staff with materials and colors. Great. Uh, so is everyone clear? Any further clarification needed on your discussion? Hearing nothing, Steve, if you could take us through the roll call. Joe. Aye. Marcus. Aye. Jerry. Aye. Pam. Aye. And Charlie. Aye. Unanimous. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Chris. Good luck to you with the project. Thank you very much. Did anyone... Anything else, Steve? Yeah. Did anyone... Uh, they, there's a couple of people here from the Right Way Club. Anybody uh, interested to have them step up to the podium and let you know a little bit about what they're trying to accomplish here? That'd be great. I'd be interested. Terrence, or no, whomever, if you wouldn't mind stepping up to the mic and just letting them know just a little bit about uh, the Right Way Club, sure. you know, maybe the issues that you had with your existing building and what hopefully the new addition will help you guys out with and what you'll be able to do in the future. Sure. Hey, uh, my name is Terrence Doyle. I'm the treasurer of the Right Way Club. Uh, the reason why we started, uh, started this uh, ex remodeled expansion uh, originally, we were trying to just do a remodel, but we realized that even with re remodeling, we needed more square footage. Uh, our uh, meeting capacity for our, I tell our, our mission statement is to supply a safe and healthy meeting environment for people in 12-step recovery, whether it be CMA, HA, Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, we, we service everybody that's in recovery for any addiction there is. So uh, what that entails is that we have times uh, we were getting the uh, 20, 30 people to a uh, speaker meeting and we have one meeting hall and it wasn't large enough uh, to handle that very comfortably. So we decided to expand. And as, as now things with the uh, social distancing, this is really evident that we are, even at that rate, we uh, are large enough we can split up to, with the expansion, a couple more rooms uh, and get people spread out, keep people spread out and still have safe and healthy meeting rooms for the, uh, recovery people in recovery. Uh, that's how we started with this and we've gone through a, a quite an extent uh, to get this uh, design to fit the property, get the, uh, the layout. Uh, we put, a, put an ex, uh, a pavilion in last year, which turned out great. We're using it all the time now because it's an outside meeting place and it's uh, uh, one of our best ideas to do that first instead of uh, work on this project because it really helped us out. The, the project itself is gonna uh, work real nice with the Expansion being built, and then when that's built, we can actually move into that and maintain meetings going on, go into that larger area. Then while that's being uh, being used, then we go back and remodel the existing building uh, and get that out and uh, rehab it, and it'll be and then all comes together. So it'll it'll be a, a great benefit for the community that we have a, a nice facility. Uh, we're going to tie it in with some of the other recovery uh, facilities. Uh, uh, Rogers Behavioral Health is a place where we'll be supporting as well. Uh, again, uh, anybody in the community that needs a place to have a, a addiction recovery, uh, we'll have a, a nice facility for them to come and to maintain, help them maintain a sobriety or and clean and sober life. So, uh, any questions or? Any questions? I'd just like to say uh, thank you so much for what you're doing in our community. Um, most people don't know a lot about my background, but uh, as a kid, I was a frequent member of uh, some of those meetings uh, where you uh, where you help out uh, everyone in the community. So thank you. Keep it up, and I'm excited to see what you do. Thank you. Thank you, Terrence. A great, great community resource, and uh, glad to see you're able to expand, and uh, wish you the very best for this project. Thank you. Steve, any other business for us today? No, not today. That's it. So then our next meeting is September 14th. Do we know if that's a go? 
Yeah, I believe that is a go. Um, it's a little bit different. It's the 14th. It looks like it's the third Monday, but we always follow the uh, council meeting, which is, uh, I think, Labor Day is the 7th, and then they meet on the 8th. So um, in the month of September, uh, we're looking at that 15th, and I, or the 15th, and maybe, I can't remember if it's the 28th. But uh, so those dates are a little bit different in September. Okay. If Janet could just make sure we get updates if dates change. Yep. That'd be great. Super. In that case, uh, never remember, Steve, do we need a roll call vote for adjournment? Nope. Just go ahead if we can just get a first in a, or someone to make that motion. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate your time.